What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and I know what you're thinking, uh, you didn't think that I was gonna, uh, upload again, uh, this weekend, because I mentioned in one of my er earlier videos that, um, that I was gonna take more of my time, I took my time a lot, actually, I worked on this for, I think, three and a half hours this morning, so, um, uh, I'm definitely still taking my time, um, but, uh, I thought it'd be a fun idea to, uh, paint this, I have some great ideas, so, I made this stencil, so this is the smaller gills, bigger gills, and then coddle fin for the side. And I'm also going to do, uh, where did I put it? This blue color that I brought down. Here we go. This blue faded into a white, which is just the body color. And then the top black. And then the uh, stripe that goes across, kind of like a bass stripe. Uh, that is a black. And then also light scales. And then the gills. And then the coddle fin. But basically, that's going to be the paint scheme. Uh, it's, I'm trying my very best to match the eye that I, uh, I'm going to use for this lure. So, yep, I'm just going to roll with it, see how it goes. And um, I've been practicing with my airbrush earlier, so uh, it should turn out pretty good. I'm excited to try it. But I'll catch you guys up once I'm done with the white base color. Now it's time to add this blue color. I might have to thin it. I'm not sure. I haven't used this blue color in a while, but basically just going to go over the top with it and uh, um, kind of fade down into the white so that way it looks like a natural fade, I guess you could say. I thin it a little bit, not too much, but I'm just going to roll with it. That's good. My, my airbrush has been clogging for a little. I might have to freehand the base color. It looks pretty good, but I might have to add some more white, so I'll catch you guys up once I'm done with the blue. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to have to postpone. <laughs> I'll catch you guys up once my airbrush works, but I've been messing with it for the past like 30 minutes and it's still not working. I think I might have got water in, in here somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but uh, I'll try to fix it and I'll get you guys back up to date once hopefully I do. Alright guys, I finally got my airbrush fixed. Um, I'll tell you what, it's cold out here, but uh, that's okay. We'll still work through it. <laughs> Um, this is all I got to do, probably showed you guys that yesterday, it was not the next day by the way, but um, I figured out, I fixed it, uh, it was clogged and there was some, uh, I had to clean it up and I had to fix the trigger, but um, we should be good from there, uh, I'm gonna add some more blue, and just to let you guys know, this is gonna be my first time painting the gills with my airbrush, so I'm gonna practice a little bit, try to get it right, and then uh, I'll catch you guys up once I get the blue done, and then we can add the black stripe, uh, scales and then the gills and then we'll be done with the paint All right guys just finished the blue the airbrush is working much better. Uh, I'm so glad uh, Figured out starting to figure out how to use this a little better like I mentioned recently in uh, one of the other videos that I just recently got this airbrush so uh, I'm not uh, Totally comfortable with it yet, but I'm getting there so um, next step is to add the black stripe, kind of like a bass stripe, across this on both sides. And, uh, I'll show you guys the finished product then. So I just added this, uh, black. Uh, I added some to the top as well, kind of to tone, out, tone down that blue. But now I'm going to go, um, and use white and kind of go up into, uh, those lines and try to add depth to it. And I also put black around the eye sockets, as you can see there. But then, after that, um, we can add scales. Oh, I have to wait till this dries, but then we can add scales. And then uh, add the gills, add the eyes, and then clear coat, and then we're done. All right, guys. So just add the white. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna wait for everything to dry, and then we can add the scales, then the gills. And um, I've never, I've never done gills before, like painting with the airbrush. And also, I forgot we have to add the caudal fins, which is this stencil right here. I cut these out yesterday, so uh, I'm gonna practice with the gills, and then while this is drying, and then we can spray the scales, and then add the gills, and then we can add the eyes and everything. But yep. And like always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy my content, uh, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. But uh, other than that, let's get back to the lure. All right, guys, I just finished adding the scales. So I'll show you guys what the scales look like. I'm not quite sure. I didn't add much uh, paint because I didn't want to cover up all the detail underneath that. But... Huh, nice. That's what the scales look like. I'm probably going to go back with the black and do some more uh, detail along there, 
Well, other than that, it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to. I'm going to go over the top with black as well as the stripe just a little bit. But then other than that, it looks pr pretty good. I really like it. Uh, and then I'm going to add the gills and then the eyes and we're all done. All right, guys, just finished adding all the black. It looks really cool. I like that. Um, I've never done that stripe before with the with the airbrush, but it looks pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to add the gill plates now. Uh, I'm going to use these. This is going to be the smaller gill plate right here. Uh, bigger gill plate. And then I'm going to add the cuddle fin on both sides. And um, then after that, I'm going to draw pencil lines on the cuddle fin. So that way it looks like veins. And then I can, or not veins, uh, spikes through the fins. Looks pretty cool. I'm happy with how it came out. Uh, I'm glad I went back in with the white. It really makes, adds depth to that stripe that goes across. And I can definitely see me in the future making some cool uh, baby bass lures or something like that with uh, that new feature that I've developed. But other than that, uh, I'll catch you guys up once I'm done with the gill plates. All right, guys, and I forgot to mention, I have my heater over here. So that's, if you hear something in the background, that's what it is. But basically, I uh, just finished. And the gills and the caudal fin looks pretty cool on both sides. Now I'm just going to add the white to add depth to each of the gills. I learned that from watching uh, Nate Marling. Uh, and Marlon Bates, so go check him out. Great person, great personality. I uh, probably mentioned that already in this video, but other than that, I'm gonna get to that and show you guys the finished product without the eyes. All right, guys, I just finished uh, the gills as well as uh, the um, the eyeballs I also put in. And also, if you can see here, you see those lines on the caudal fin? It really helps uh, to make them look realistic if you add those. But uh, I think it turned out really cool. I love the gills. Uh, I love the cuddle fin. I've never tried that before. I've never done that before. I've never even done these stripes before uh, that goes across here or the fin. But, I mean, try something new and you might succeed. And uh, I practiced with my airbrush and it turned out pretty good. But it looks good. I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. I'll tell you what, this thing's going to catch some fish over the summer. But uh, we'll see if you want to see those videos. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it anytime soon since it's winter, and uh, the pond that I normally go to fish at is probably iced over, but I'm not sure. Um, but other than that, um, I'm going to add the clear coat and catch you guys up with the finished product. Alright guys, just add the clear coat. And I must say, this is most definitely my favorite lure I've ever made. And man, I'll tell you, I've made a lot of lures in my life. But man, doesn't that look cool? Not to toot my own horn, but that's pretty neat. I love all the details and everything that I'm able to add. And I'm so glad that I'm taking my time now more so that I can make cool lures like this. But um, this this is probably going to take five clear coats. Um, my clear coat's being weird. Like, it's shooting just a straight stream instead of, a like, a mist. But that's okay. I'll fix that. And, uh, th again, thank you for watching. Um, new videos are coming out hopefully next weekend. And uh, I'm going to take my time a lot more hopefully make some cool lures like this. Um, turned out really well. Um, like I said, uh, over the summer, um, uh, I'm going to go try out these lures, all these, I have, I think now seven, including this one that we can try out. Uh, I got a GoPro, so I can strap that on and show you guys how, uh, how they work and everything. But other than that, uh, consider subscribing, uh, if you like today's video, as well as check out, uh, my Instagram, uh, I'll put the username up on the screen here, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.